Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Market tremors, S&P 500 on the edge of a bear market, NVIDIA surpasses tech giants to become world's most valuable firm, and Pfizer faces lawsuit over COVID-19 vaccine. Plus, tech bull market predicted to last another few years, according to Wedbush's Dan Ives. In AI news, Apple set to dominate consumer AI and reach for trillion dollar milestone within a year. BlackRock foresees no AI bubble with winners driving market returns. Also in the lineup, NVIDIA acquires software startup Shoreline, I.O., and Apple puts high-end vision headset on hold. Stay tuned after this short ad break for more insights into these headlines. Avi Gilbert, the founder of Elliott WaveTrader and SaferBankingResearch.com, has issued a warning that the S&P 500 may be on the brink of a significant downturn. This could potentially trigger a bear market that lasts for as long as 21 years. His predictions are based on the Elliott Wave Theory, which leads him to forecast that many markets will face difficulties by 2026. Despite the fact that Wall Street's index has seen an increase of nearly 15% this year, Gilbert estimates there is a 30% probability his forecasts might not be accurate. NVIDIA has now overtaken both Microsoft and Apple, claiming the title of the world's most valuable company with a staggering valuation of $3.3 trillion. This significant increase in value is largely due to a surge in demand for their artificial intelligence chips, which has seen their shares skyrocket by up to 200% over the past year. Despite facing stiff competition, NVIDIA's market capitalization has expanded more than 10 times since 2020. In contrast, rival companies such as AMD and Intel have experienced less growth or even a decrease in value. Industry analysts forecast that NVIDIA will maintain its lead position as we approach a tech market cap of $4 trillion. The state of Kansas has filed a lawsuit against the pharmaceutical firm, Pfizer. The accusation is that Pfizer misled the public regarding the efficacy of its COVID-19 vaccine in combating virus mutations and transmission. According to Kansas, these alleged false claims are a violation of the Kansas Consumer Protection Act. In response to these allegations, Pfizer maintains that their information has been both accurate and grounded in science. Wedbush Securities forecasts that the ongoing bull market in United States technology stocks, having already experienced a 31% increase this year, may persist until the year 2027. Dan Ives, who is the managing director of equity research at the firm, proposes that mega-cap technology companies could achieve market capitalizations ranging from $3 to $4 trillion within the next 12 months. At present, Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA have exceeded a market capitalization of $3 trillion. Wedbush Securities forecasts that the recent advancements in artificial intelligence, or AI, by Apple could boost the company's market capitalization to $4 trillion within the next year. Despite initial doubts, Apple's stock experienced a 7% increase after revealing its AI system named Apple Intelligence. The company also has plans to incorporate OpenAI's ChatGPT into Siri, their voice assistant. According to Wedbush, these strategic moves are expected to stimulate significant growth and further establish Apple's leading position in the consumer AI sector. The present trend of investment in artificial intelligence is fueling a surge in the market. NVIDIA has now become the most valuable company that is publicly traded worldwide. BlackRock, the global investment management corporation, forecasts that this AI-driven surge will persist. However, it also cautions that initial capital outlays on AI could potentially trigger inflation. Despite these concerns, the financial success of technology powerhouses such as NVIDIA and Apple starkly contrasts with companies from the dot-com bubble era which were not profitable. NVIDIA, currently the globe's most valued firm, has consented to purchase the software startup known as Shoreline, I.O. for an approximate amount of $100 million. This comes on the heels of Shoreline's latest Series B fundraising round that garnered $35 million. Following this news, NVIDIA's stock experienced a 3.6% increase, propelling its worth to a staggering $3.3 trillion. Apple has temporarily halted the development of its high-end vision mixed reality headset, instead concentrating on a more budget-friendly model to attract a broader consumer base. 
This approach reflects Apple's dual-tier iPhone strategy. Even though there have been issues with the Premium Vision Pro's cost and restricted usage, it is still scheduled for a global release this month. In the meantime, component production has been reduced by 50% due to an updated forecast from Apple. And that's a wrap on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay savvy, stay informed, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, keep thriving. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.